I was just filming this video and it occurred to me, I hadn't even started this video, I just had started filming um, this vlog throughout the week. So welcome to today's video, it's a reading vlog um, from like the past couple of weeks. So I was going to do a one week reading vlog but then life got a little bit busy, a little bit crazy and didn't read as much as once. So it turned into two and I kind of thought I was halfway through a book and I didn't want to not give you a little overview of it at the end. So yeah this video is completely spoiler free no spoilers just kind of thoughts on the books videos of me reading the book i'm gonna be in my pajamas most of the video it's quite a little cozy reading vlog um i've got through three books within the two weeks so yeah Life Farms. I've not like gave an update on this book yet but I am um, nearly finished. I read, I think last night I had about 100 pages left um, and I read about 20 and then completely fell asleep. I think I might have been on chapter 20 yesterday um, which is like page three, two, three, three. I think that's where I got to it could have been i could have read more than that um and then i read about 20 pages from there like halfway through the chapter and fell asleep so um i've read a lot today and now on page 258 and there is i think 304 is that correct yeah 304 pages so nearly there actually about 50 ish pages left so not a lot. So I am going to finish this right now. <laughs> and then I'm going to start um, matching all the way. That is going to be my next read. Um, and then that's it for the Christmassy reads. But I didn't get to read that over Christmas. And then I'm also reading My Life with the Water Boys. Which is kind of like a flick in and out one. But I've started it so I kind of want to finish it now. Um, and I had watched the series so i kind of wanted to read the book because people are like oh it's a book um so yeah i want to see how that goes and obviously the series left it on a cliffhanger so i want to read the book and see if the book is left on a cliffhanger or if it concludes what's going on and there is some differences but it is mostly the same so far um there's just like slight differences like sometimes in the book it uh, something that happened in the series that happened in one day happens across two or three days in the book so just little things like that um yeah that's what's going on so far so i finished love light farms and it is so cute this was a five star read for me i just feel like towards the end the way it wrapped things up really made it that five star read like little things that happen throughout the story are then like in the ending so i just feel like that really really wrapped things up nicely for me and yeah absolutely loved it it's a friends to lovers romance which is not normally my go-to trope but did really enjoy this it's such a quick paced book so if you're looking for something really quick really easy to read definitely recommend Saturday. I haven't had as much time to read this week as I would have hoped to um because it's been quite a busy week first week back at work after Christmas and my new niece was born so wanted to see her um but I have done a bit of reading I finished Love Light Farms and I'm now reading Matching All The Way by Veronica Eden and how many pages through am I? I was going to read more last night but literally I had the worst acid reflux in the world I literally couldn't breathe that's how bad it was so I just couldn't focus on my book but I'm 88 pages in now so hoping to read some more chapters today I've got a nice free Saturday oh my gosh nice free Saturday to chill so hoping to at least get some of the way um through maybe like half um but yeah, I haven't got much on this weekend, so hoping to do some 
reading um today and tomorrow i am loving this so far i feel like it picked up or i mean like they're not together if if this makes sense they're not together yet but it has picked up like already um pretty much straight away so that's quite good and it's a jewel point of view which i love because you can see inside both people's heads and i think that's so adorable um but yeah this book has only just come out actually um for those of you who don't know about it um it's recently come out and it's like best friends no sorry brother's best friend i was gonna say best friend's brother but brother's best friend um and they basically match on a dating app um and then they unmatch and match again unmatch and match again i'm not ruining this book by the way that's literally like what's on the bluff <laughs> so i'm not going to tell you like anything else that happens but that is um what's on the blurb of this so that's kind of like the gist of the book so it's a cute little um christmasy type of romance it's not like overly christmasy but it's like at the moment it's set in winter so he is the assistant ice hockey coach um in their small town so it's like a small town type of romance um so that's what that book is about and i shall be reading some more of this today and again i just love dual point of view because you can actually see like what both characters are thinking um so yeah that's one of my faves but we're gonna carry on reading that today and see how we get on with it page 153 i think um in matching all the way but i'm going to read my kindle for a little bit i think i'm going to read my life with the water boys as i'm like 20 percent of the way through that um but i'm going to carry on reading this tomorrow because i am thoroughly enjoying it i mean it is making me cringe a little bit in some places So I finished matching all the way, but I haven't gave you an update yet. Um, I gave that book, I think I was three stars. Um, now, it was good. It did make me cringe in some places. If you've read it, you might understand. <laughs> um, but towards the end, I just was kind of like, I want this book to wrap up now you know and it's like you guys are happy can it be finished that was my thought and there was no third act break breakup as far as i remember i forget a book immediately after i've read it but pretty sure there was no third act breakup um so that was good but i just was kind of like wrap it up now please thank you um but yeah so i finished that and then i couldn't decide what to read next so i asked my instagram story which book i should read whether it should be what happens after midnight or check and mate and you guys picked check and mate so i'm currently reading this i literally read 30 pages yesterday um so i'm not that far into it literally just they've had their first meet basically and that's about it. That's as far as I've got.
so I would give you a really quick reading update. To be honest, I haven't read that much this week. Um, I just, yeah, I haven't got around to it. I haven't really, I don't know, I just haven't really been in the mood to read. But I am now over 100 pages into Checker Mate. And I think my preconceptions about this book was that I wasn't going to like it. Um, however, I am quite enjoying it. Now, I know it's quite like chess heavy and that's why I thought I wasn't going to like it. But you know what? I actually do really enjoy it and I think it's because how Ali Hazelwood writes. Um, and there hasn't been too much romance in this yet or any to be fair. Um, but I am actually really enjoying the story. So I just thought I'd give you a quick update. Um, yeah, I'm about a hundred, just over 100 pages through. So I'm going to try and get this finished this weekend. I've got some time tomorrow to do some reading. I'm going to... Um, my gym with a swimming pool and me and my mum are going to spend a bit of time there, do a bit of reading on the side of the pool. Um, and yeah, so I should have some time to actually do some reading, um, tomorrow. But yeah, I'm just going to sit here for a bit, read a couple of chapters and then read it some more tomorrow and just keep you guys updated. But I am actually liking it so far, which is good. Um, and I think it is predominantly because of Ali Hazel's writing, I just really enjoy her writing. Um... And yeah, I didn't think I was going to like the chess kind of story, but um, I actually do. So if you've got preconceptions about this book, I'd probably say still read it as up to where I am now. But yeah, I'll let you know. I'm now extremely invested in this book. <laughs> um, I am on, what page am I on? 208 and there's like 340 something. So about 140 pages left to go. But I'm so invested in this book. Um, sorry, I'm just going to strap myself in. It's actually really good. Like, I didn't think I would like it that much because of, like, the chess aspects. Like, I don't really know a lot about chess. I thought I'd be quite lost. But I just think Ali Hazel was writing just makes everything so interesting. Um, so, yeah. There's not, like, tons of romance going on in here. It is more chess than romance. Like, the romance is kind of, like, on the back burner. Um but still enjoyable and I'm hoping that like kind of picks up a little bit um in the next bit but like I've got this much that much of the way through and there's been like tiny amounts of romance so it yeah it's not like massively romantic um I feel like in that aspect it is more YA than romance but yeah I'm still really enjoying it so I'm hoping to finish it today um and see where I get to <laughs> Excuse the snoring that you can probably hear in the background because that is my dog. However, I have now finished Check and Mate. Um, it was quite cute, but I agree with the review that it the romance feels like more on the back burner. But do you know what? I did not think that I would like this story because I'm not a chess fan. I don't really know anything about chess, but I enjoyed it. It was really quick pace. It was. Ali Hazel was writing, I think, that just made it for me. Some of the little things that Nolan did throughout the book were quite cute and, like, more understated rather than, like, in your base romance, if you know what I mean. Um, so I do recommend this. I'm stuck between... I think it's, like, 3.7, 4 stars because I, I would have liked a bit more romance, to be honest, but I did still quite enjoy the read so yeah 3.7 four stars probably four but it's like difficult because i've rated other books four stars but this is a different type of four stars if you know what i mean so yeah i enjoyed it that is actually the end of this reading vlog because i've now finished the books that i was reading um so i will obviously be posting more videos and stuff so there'll be more reading vlogs in the future for you to watch um, I've actually got quite a, an exciting one that I've um, had inspiration from another YouTuber before, so yeah, I'm excited to film that. Um, but yeah, if you've got any like specific videos or anything, let me know because I'm new to doing like the book style vlog. Can you hear that dog? She's literally so snoring. Um, 
but yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video let me know if there's any more videos you want to see um and i'll be back with more vlogs at some point uh in the very very near future because i've got some exciting stuff planned but if you want to see more things regularly then head over to my tiktok and my bookstagram which are linked in the description because i post more over there and i'll see you very soon